Hey guys, so in the previous video we covered three topics. We created a GitHub repository, we cloned the project zero to start as a base for our project REST Pro. And I changed the remote uh, from project zero to a uh, point to project REST Pro. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add REST Assured dependencies so that you know we can use REST Assured for writing our REST API test. So first and foremost, what we can do is we can go to REST Assured IO. And if we scroll down, it has this getting started URL, right? So let's click on this. And here it explains that what do we need, what Maven users can do, you know, what non-Maven users can do, static imports, versions, documentation, etc., etc. Now, since we are going to use a Maven project, let's scroll down and read what it is, what is specified here. It says for Maven Gradle users, we can add the following dependencies to our POM. Uh, and this dependency also includes JSON path and XML path. So let's copy this. And let's open Aqua again. Let's open uh, my users. Let's look for project REST Pro and open it. Trust project. Okay, so this is project REST Pro. Close, now let's open the POM file and let's change some details over here. So the organization remains the same, but the project name is now not zero, but it's REST Pro. Um, everything we're just reusing, so there's nothing else to change here. What we want to do is, uh, let's go back before we add this dependency. It says, you should place REST Assured before the JUnit dependency declaration in your POM XML in order to make sure that the correct version of Hamcrest is used. And this includes JSON path and XML path as transitive dependencies. So the only thing that you have to remember is add this before JUnit dependencies. Copy this, Windows 1. Uh, in fact, JUnit Jupyter is used here. So let's add it before JUnit. Um, let's go back, Windows 1, and let's add a, uh, I'm going to remove the scope uh, of REST Assured because I'm going to use a lot of its features into my uh, source repository, right? So I'm going to remove the scope from test uh, because otherwise you will not be able to use it. And I'm going to add it here uh, saying as REST Assured, let's copy this. And let's start of this. Let's call it rest assured version 5.3.0. And this is going to be a taller rest assured version, right? And let's reload Maven dependencies. And until you know it loads all the dependencies, let's go back and read through the documentation. JSON path, standalone JSON path repository, it's already included. Uh, it is needed to parse JSON responses and requests. You can also have this dependency for JSON schema validation, which is what we're going to add once we come to that topic. Not right now. Spring mock MVC, Spring web test client, Scala support, Kotlin support, Java 9, non maven users, static imports, version documentation. So nothing else. So that's all that we need uh, to be able to use REST Assured in our project. So with this, we have got REST Assured dependencies added. And to be able to write some uh, REST Assured test, actually first we need to identify a, a test REST API, and which is something which we are going to cover in the uh, next video. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you, bye-bye.